हेलो एवरीवन आई एम मोहित जैन फ्रॉम एम जे एज मैथ्स एंड स्टैट्स एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द एक्चुअल क्वेश्चन विच वेर आस्ड इन टी सी एस एन क्यू टी एग्जामिनेशन ऑन ट्वेंटी अक्टूबर टू इन द इवनिंग स्लॉट फाइव पी एम स्लॉट दैट इज द थर्ड स्लॉट ऑफ द डे इन वॉट टाइम डज अ सम ऑफ मनी बिकम्स ट्रिपल द अमाउंट एट अ सिंपल इंटरेस्ट ऑफ 10% per annum. That means my amount is 3p. A p is the principal, and we know that amount is equals to principal plus interest. That means interest in this case is 2p. Okay. So we know the formula for interest. Interest equals p into r into t by 100. So r is 10%. Two hundred by ten is equals to t. T is twenty years. In twenty years, sum of money triple itself at a simple interest of ten percent per annum. Option D. A bucket contains a mixture of two liquids P and Q. In the ratio eleven is to seven. If nine liters of the mixture is replaced by nine liters of liquid Q. then the ratio of the two liquids become 5 is to 9 how much of the liquid q does the bucket have okay we know the drill since liquid q is replaced our formula will have liquid p so proportion of liquid p left by proportion of liquid p in the beginning equals 1 minus c by e to the power n so proportion of liquid p left is This is p is to q, five by fourteen upon. In the beginning, it was eleven by eighteen equals one minus c is the small container size that is nine. E is the big bucket size, and n is number of time the process is done. Size of the bucket. Now the question is how much of liquid Q was there in the bucket in the beginning so Q was 7 by 18th part so Q was 7 by 18th part of 9 into 77 by 32 9 times 2 77 into 7 9453 by 64 539 by 64 liters option D A shopkeeper bought sixty erasers for rupees fifty. So CP of sixty units is rupees fifty. How many erasers should he sell for rupees fifty? So SP of X eraser is rupees fifty, so that he can earn a profit of twenty percent. And we know the drill with help of rule four, that is our debt rule. Which says profit would be equals to sixty into fifty is three thousand minus fifty x by fifty x equals profit percentage in fraction. That is twenty percent. Twenty by hundred is one by five. So this will give me three thousand minus fifty x equals to ten x. Sixty x is three thousand. X equals three thousand by sixty. That is. 50 units so how many erasers were sold 50 units were sold option c 4 to the power p minus 2q is 1024 that is 2 to the power 10 so i can write this as 2 to the power 2 into p minus 2q is 2 to the power 10 so i have 2p minus 4q is 10 first equation and the second one is 2 to the power 2 into p plus q equals 16 that is 2 to the power 4 into 4 to the power 5 that is 2 to the power 10 so this would be 2 to the power 14 so i can write 2p plus 2q is 14 now if we solve these two subtracted minus 6q is minus 4 q is 4 by 6 that is 2 by 3 So, what is the question? Find the value of Q. Q is two by three. Option D. P is to Q. 
is 3 by 7 is to 2 by 21 so actually this is 9 is to 2 q is to r is 1 by 9 is to 2 by 3 so this is 1 is to 6 r is to s is 1 by 5 is to 2 by 15 so this is 3 is to 2 now if we combine p q r s would be 9 1 27 2 into 1 into 3 is 6 2 into 6 12 into 3 is 36 2 into 6 12 into 2 is 24 find the ratio of p q r s p q r s would be if i divide throughout by 9 if i divide throughout by 3 9 is to 2 is to 12 is to 8 option b fits in amar alone can complete 12.5 percent that is one eighth of the work in two days that means amar is completing the entire work in 16 days and raghav alone can complete the whole work in 16 days raghav is also completing in 16 days if both work together in how many days can they complete the whole work if both time is same then the work would be completed in 16 by 2 that is 8 days the number of packets of milk sold per day on 7 different days are this find the variance you know the formula for variance variance is summation of x minus x bar whole square by n we need x bar x bar is total of all the numbers divided by n so total is 147 and n is 7 which gives me 21 so mean is 21 now 20 minus 21 is 1 1 is square is 1 25 minus 21 is 4 4 is square is 16 96 so our variance would be 96 by 7 that is 13.71 13 into 7 is 91 so 13.7 fits in option d s buys an old mobile for 6400 and he spends 600 on repairs so total cost of mobile to s is 7000 rupees if she sells the mobile for 8400 this is cost price now and selling price is 8400 that's profit is 1400 her profit percent is 1400 by cost price that is 20 percent the average weight of a group of 18 student is 45 for 18 average is 45 kg a new student comes in who weighed 64 kgs what is the new weight of the group so now we have 19 people now 45 into 18 is 810 plus 64 is 874 so the new average is 874 by 19 that is equals to 46 option d r covers a certain distance by car let the distance be t had she moved 5 km faster, she would have taken 30 minutes lesser time. That means D by S, the normal time, minus the time today is 30 minutes. 30 minutes is half an hour. Or D into S plus 5 minus S is 5 upon S into S plus 5 equals to half if she had moved two kilometers slower she would have taken 40 more minutes to cover the same distance that means d upon s minus 2 minus d by s is 40 minutes 40 minutes is 40 by 60 that is two third of an hour d into s minus s plus 2 by s into s minus 2 is 2 by 3 so from here we have d equals to s square plus 5s by 10 and here we have d equals to s square minus 2s by 3 we can equate this and we'll get 
3 s square plus 15 s equals 10 s square minus 20 s so 7 s square is 35 s s equals to 5 kilometer per hour find the distance now we can use it in any one of this so distance is 25 minus 10 by 3 that is 15 by 3 or 5 kilometer the breadth of a box is half of its length we have length then breadth is l by 2 and its height is half of the breadth that is l by 4 volume of the box volume we know is length into breadth into height l cube by 8 equals 1000 l cube is 8000 therefore l is cube root of 8000 that is 20 find this breadth breadth is l by 2 that is 10 centimeter thank you everyone for participating these were few questions from tcs nqt actual examinations held on 28th october 2020 in the third slot and uh, if you have any queries related to any question whatsoever you have our telegram number and email id displayed on your screen please subscribe to the channel mj's maths and stats i'm mohit jain i'll see you soon thank you